So we are starting the process of preparing the property to leave for the winter. And there's not much to do, just a few things. Um... We are free to decide. We will love and let love. We are free to believe. We will love and let love. Um, I think we'll pull up the solar lights and put those in the shipping container. We're basically just gonna put anything away that could be stolen. Um, there's not a lot to do. Ed's going to make a protective box to cover the spout on the water tank. Keep it insulated, hopefully keep it from freezing and hopefully keep the cows from wanting to rub on it and snap it off. We'll probably dump our, the dirt out of our failed vegetable buckets and put the buckets away. And another thing we were concerned about is Luna's grave because unfortunately you get coyotes and things that might want to dig it up. So we don't want that to happen, obviously. So we've taken some extra measures to try to protect her grave. And hopefully that'll do the trick, but we already had the cows walking dangerously close to the headstones. So we put up this sort of makeshift barrier using some fallen branches to try to protect it and then We got some giant boulders and have covered the entire thing with giant boulders. So hopefully that will be good enough. We definitely want to protect her remains and that would be horrible to have that happen. We have heard of that happening um, with other people's pets that they buried out here. So hopefully that'll do it. It'll definitely make it a lot harder for anything to get at her. So yeah, we're just gonna chip away on these things and probably be leaving for the winter pretty soon. What are you working on, Ed? I'm making covers for the valve on our freshwater tank. And I'm making one for Aja and making one for Bruce. Nice. So, and why are we doing that? To keep them from freezing so we can put pack insulation around them and I'm going to paint them black and then that will uh, hopefully draw in sunlight to keep them warm and then it'll be packed with fiberglass insulation and also keep the cows from rubbing on them so basically what happened is is i had cut a bunch of 16 inch blocks on two by eights and i did it for the rv and i didn't take measurements of the blocks i already had and the blocks i already had were actually <laughs> 20 inches long and 10 inches wide so these wouldn't work but it works out perfect because it fits right over the valves um, the valves take up a small area like this and there's going to be about a four inch area all the way around for insulation i'm going to pack them with uh, fiberglass insulation i have a roll of r13 and i'm just going to uh, basically triple it and that'll give me um, an r value of around um, what would that be? 39. Hang so. on a second. There's like a weird white line coming across the image. Okay, it must just be a reflection. Yeah. Because now it's gone. Yeah, it was probably because you were in the sun. Okay. So basically when I put the when I pack these with the insulation, they're going to be uh R39, which is gonna be plenty. Um so basically they're gonna fit like this. The valve is gonna sit right here, and then I'm going to cut uh, pieces of uh, this which is T111 siding left over from another project right yep, yep. left over from another project and then uh, I'm going to paint it all black with uh, flat spray paint nice seems like a good idea yep yep and the black will draw in sunlight um, and then we're gonna put a large boulder on top of each one uh, to hold it down and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere nice Good job. All right, I'll leave you alone, let you get to it. Cool, we'll show you what it looks like when they're all done. All right, sounds good, thanks babe. Okay, 
So I finished making the box covers for our water tank valves. And I made one for Bruce, and I made one for Aja, and I made one for us. And I took Bruce his yesterday, and went over there and visited with him for a little while. And this is basically the finished product. It's just the two by eights screwed together with some leftover T111 siding that I had. And I just used up the scraps and it's painted black. Well, actually it's not really exactly black paint, but it's close enough. And I cut some pieces of fiberglass insulation to put inside of there around the valves. And that's what's going to keep them from freezing this winter. So anyway, I'm going to drive over to Aja's camp right now and drop this off. Um, she's actually in Flagstaff right now, but uh, I'm just going to drive over there real quick. I'll take you with me and we're going to drive down our easement road. Ooh, nice amount of dust. And I've got my little buddy passenger here with me. He is kind of bored from sitting in the RV and he wants to go for a ride. You want to go for a ride, buddy? You want to go for a ride? Are you a good boy? Okay, we're going to go for a ride, buddy. That's right, we're going to go for a ride. Yesterday, in preparation for leaving, I also changed the coolant and flushed out the cooling system on the navigator. Um, I didn't film it because it's it was extremely messy and in those situations I tend to knock the camera over and it just uh, it just didn't seem like a good idea but anyway uh, if you want to see a video on changing the coolant in a 2002 Lincoln Navigator you can find videos on YouTube there's plenty of them that show you how to do it um, if I was in a garage setting where I could set up a proper tripod and not knock it over I might have done it but uh, there really is not much to see but anyway it's done um, the navigator definitely runs a little bit cooler um, it was uh, it was good to get it done uh, things are winding down here on the property and we're getting more and more things done in preparation for leaving uh, for the season and coming back uh, probably sometime next spring um, Anyway, I'll show you the ride over to Asha's camp. Basically, I'm going out my driveway. And I'm not taking the long driveway I have between our two camps. Um, it's been generating a lot of dust that's been making its way into the RV. And so I have chose not to go that way. And I'm gonna go around and go on our easement driveway. That way uh, the ground stays undisturbed and there's not quite as much dust created. And there is my racetrack. That's the entry to my racetrack. And this is our main road. And now turning down our easement driveway with our private drive no trespassing signs and yes we do have no trespassing signs up all over the place we have another one here no trespassing and we do have it protected by video surveillance and trespassers will be prosecuted and in certain circumstances you might find worse than that I would say when you come near somebody's private property and they have no trespassing signs posted, I would obey them. Uh, you never know what length somebody is going to go to to protect their property. So if you go someplace and you don't belong there, my advice is stay the hell away. People put those signs up for a reason. It's not meant to be a joke, it's meant to be serious. and. Uh, out in this area, there's not too much of a problem with uh, trespassing, but it does happen. And I've been told that some people have 
failed to put up no trespassing signs and come home and found squatters on their property. Um, I won't tell you what I would do if I found a squatter on my property, but I can tell you what, they're not going to be met with uh, anything friendly. So anyway, now we're here at Aja's camp and I'm going to let little buddy out and we're going to take I'm going to take the uh, the box I made out and put it inside of uh, her shipping container. So let me grab my little buddy. Come on, bud. Come on. Go outside. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, hang on. There's a good boy. All right. Hopefully you don't poo in here. Be a good boy. My guess is. Little man's gonna lead, do something to leave his mark. That's what he does. What are you going in here? You going in here, buddy? Bandit. Come on. No, come on. Come on, we're going outside. Come on. No, there's nothing in here for you. <laughs> Get moving, little man. box dropped off close this back up and uh, I'm sure you probably have seen on Aja's videos but she's made a lot of really nice improvements and this is for the people that uh, are not subscribed to her channel and if you're not I would suggest go to pandemonium on YouTube and subscribe to her channel. She's uh, awesome. She makes some really awesome videos, tells some really great stories. But uh, anyway, these are some of the improvements that she's done. We, uh, I helped her go get some of these boulders, like what we did around the border of my driveway. And it's turned out really nice. Um, it's kind of hard to believe, but this place really comes alive at night. Uh, the lights and everything she's put in here are just fantastic. And of course there's my little man kicking it up, probably peeing on everything. That's what that's what a male pug does. Come on buddy. Come on. Come on bandit. Let's go. Let's go dude. I think you've I think you peed yourself dry little man. Come on. Bandit, let's go. Come on, buddy. Nope. He's got more to do. Okay. We got the uh, water box cover dropped off and gonna drive back to the camp. And we're going out this way. So we're now we're gonna go out on Aja's driveway. And there's Randy, the mobile traveler. He's working on getting a new engine put in his RV. That's Aja's Zen tree. And the driveway. Got gravel spread down on probably about a third of it. And there's a really, really dusty section up here coming up. And this is it. The dust and dirt out here, once it works its way to the surface, is very much like talcum powder. It's extremely dusty and it sticks to everything. And of course it's very dry. It rained about three weeks ago for about an, a half hour. And before that, it's been ugh, two and a half months since it rained. It's been a while. We're experiencing a pretty good drought out here right now. 
And once again, we're out on the main road. And there's our easement driveway. And there's the entry to my racetrack and the short straightaway on the main road and there's the end of my racetrack basically turn 10 9 8 and 7 it's a lot of fun it is an unbelievable amount of fun to run that track and now I'm back on my main driveway and my main drive splits in two to the left is the original road that I made that goes all the way through my property to Aja's property and then this is the shortened entry to my property or to my camp my driveway and then I made a connecting road between them so I actually have a giant circle drive that I can drive all the way around and this is the entry to my camp, my water container in the parking spot for the navigator, and my camp, my shipping container, and you can see there off in the distance that's Aja's camp. And it's about an eighth of a mile away. Maybe it maybe just a few feet lot more than that. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? Did you did you have a fun ride? Did you have a good ride, buddy? Are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? You wanna go sit out in the sun? You wanna go sit in the sun, buddy? You wanna go sit in the sun? You good boy? Go sit in the sun? Okay. Let's go, buddy.